Hello, Sag. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for sharing your energy with me. This is a general reading for your Sagittarius placements for the week of October 24th. Oh my. For some reason, this full moon in Aries is going to bring something for you. And I don't know what. Because I'm getting lions and tigers and bears. Oh my. But it's like a nice oh my. An uncovering of something within you. Hmm. Bliss. Look at that. Beautiful. Home. Silence. Clock is ticking. Scars. Ooh. Finding your peace with a family issue that has left scars. Finding peace. Finding Coming to a resolution, page of Michael, an exciting new challenge. You have what it takes to succeed. Review contracts and documents very thoroughly. Seven of Gabrielle, stand up for what you believe in. Have confidence and claim your personal power. Ace of Raphael, a positive new emotional experience, fulfilling romantic relationships deep and lasting spiritual insights and on the scars we have eight of gabrielle a great deal of activity sudden and immediate results important communication so let's see the resolution of a difficult situation something new is making you very happy standing up for what home that's within yourself that's you or it could be a home matter but claiming your personal power in this matter silence a positive and you have new emotional experience that is really good that you're not talking about scars sudden and immediate results important communication discussing something discussing something that you've been silent about taking the lead in a situation that is making you very happy taking control there is a break in the storm hmm nine of spring protect the fruits of your labor don't let naysayers get in your way don't get sidetracked don't let road rage get the better of you that's in all areas of life don't let road rage whatever area of life it is get the better of you don't let someone cutting you off traffic conversation an interview whatever don't let it get the better of you the star look to the future with hope and optimism the power of faith to move mountains Happy changes bring relief. And the eight of autumn. Do more research before proceeding. Education in the form of seminars. Excellent craftsmanship and long-term projects. Somehow or another, a new endeavor on the home front is making you very happy. And it's happening quickly. Very quickly, seven of wands, ace, eight of wands, nine of wands. Interesting. You're guarded about this. You're guarded about this. Why do I get that someone lied? Someone's lied about something. Are you catching someone in a lie? King of air, speak your mind with confidence. Again, seek out professional advice. Balance your mental and emotional considerations. Making logical choices. Spending quiet time alone in meditation. Working diligently on moving forward into 
a state of bliss because where you're at now is no longer okay. There is change of foot. Your card for the week is a seven of swords with the ace of wands not speaking on this new endeavor. Handling something with care and boldly moving forward at the same time, not letting people in. I'm getting, leaving out the details, and I don't know why, because you're the king of swords. All right. Okay. So you're getting information. You're not getting all the information on something. Be mindful of that. You don't have all the information on something. You have a spark here. This is a spark. You have a spark to do something. I want one more. Six of Wands. It's going to give you victory, but you don't have all the information. Your plans are not complete. Self, Major Arcana. I do go live every Sunday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time for free readings after I do all 12 signs. And if you're interested in a personal reading, you can email me for details. Major Arcana. Oh, that's 19. This is 14. Major Arcana. Self. I am identity, self-realization, self-manifestation, center, peace, and acceptance. Establish a unique and individual identity. Be free of definition, definitions and labels. You have unlimited potential. How has your past shaped you? Identity is fluid and changing. Who you are is for you to determine. Are you trying to fit in with the wrong crowd? Know who you are. Who do you wish to become? A path of loving expansion. Let go of the herd mentality and think for yourself. You're coming into a new place within yourself. We have bliss and we have home. That is a new place within yourself. Silence and scars while you silently contemplate something that's very hurtful, very painful. An exciting new endeavor is absolutely coming up. But you need to stand up for yourself. You need to stand up for yourself and claim your personal power in this situation. You have a positive new experience that is coming in. Things you're going to have to deal with a lot of things at one time. However, you are healing and you are looking to the future with hope and optimism, but you don't have all the information that you need. You do need to get a professional's opinion on something. This can be someone that you trust, someone that has more knowledge on something than you do. But you are missing information before you can proceed. If you proceed without all the information that you need for whatever this is, wherever this is hitting for you, it's going to be a small victory. It's going to be more of a hollow, shallow win. Do you understand what I'm saying? If this is legal, you need to make sure that you have all your documentation. If this is physical, you need to have all the tests done. If this is in a relationship, you need to. Get more info about this person. If it's a job, you, you, you understand what I'm saying. If you don't get everything that you need, don't be afraid to seek the answers is what we're saying here. Otherwise, it's going to be a hollow win. It's going to be a shallow win. It's going to be a short-lived win. Don't settle for what you want to hear. Okay. 
Let's get a card from the Sacred Rebels. Love this. And that's kind of you, isn't it? The Sacred Rebel. All right. Don't, don't just settle for this is what I think. Dig deeper. Yes, dig deeper in your, within yourself. Softly, softly, the tender touch. Number 20. Oh my, what's this about? Softly, softly, the tender touch. Looks like she's crying, no? Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. The feminine wisdom of gentleness can assist you now. When we are at a point in life where we want to attain greater things, but don't necessarily have a proportionately greater supply of energy at our disposal, it is time to work smarter rather than harder. This is the way of feminine wisdom. However, a cultural ignorance of the feminine way currently prevails. We are generally taught that the more force we use, the more we try to make things happen, the more we will achieve. The feminine way is not about force, nor is it about driving, striving, pushing, or grabbing at what we want in order to create. It is about inviting what we wish for to come into the space we have provided for it, internally and in our lives. This method cultivates more energy, causes less stress, and attracts what is desired. It is manifestation by invitation rather than by will or force. Let's do the healing process. Um, you're going to say this three times. I will say it. I will leave gaps for you to repeat after me. Do it three times. So drag the little dot back so that you can do it twice more. I shine like the sun, radiant with grace, and all that I desire comes to me according to perfect timing. I relax, believe, and receive. Through unconditional love, this is now so. Okay, Sag, that's all I have for you for this week. Very short message. Don't settle. Don't settle within yourself, okay? All right. You guys know I love you. I hope to see you soon. Peace to you. Ciao.